Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Um, we are filming in the kitchen today, um, where the lighting is a little bit weird because the lighting, the light, big light is like above me here, but hi. Um, the reason we're filming in the kitchen is because I've just got back from having dinner around my mum's house and um, I wasn't expecting to find this parcel here, there yet, and I did. Um, and I really wanted to open it for the first time on camera um, so that's what I'm gonna do and I couldn't be bothered with like setting up a light and stuff in the bedroom and making sure it all looks professional I just thought this is food related let's just do it in the kitchen so I have just been around my mom's house and I knew to expect something from my brother um, he ordered me for Christmas one of the subscription boxes from the Serial Killer Cafe. I cannot believe it. Um, and yeah, so the Serial Killer Cafe is, there's two of them in London at the moment. There's one down Brick Lane, which does hot food as well. You can literally get like cheese toasties that have been um, coated in cornflakes you can get a mozzarella dippers that have been coated in curiously cinnamon you can get chicken that's been coated in fruity pebbles with like this galaxy sauce which is like a spicy bubblegum sauce it's 90s themed there's old 90s video cases all over the walls there's old 90s memorabilia from programs there's little tvs that are playing 90s programs on repeat there's 90s music playing it's you can sit on chairs so you can sit on beds that have got duvet covers from the 90s and eat bowls of cereal there um i there's like i've seen tasmanian devil duvets and um spice girls duvets and just stuff like that um they do some really cool cereals as well they i don't know where they buy them from um but like cereals from america and you can go there and you can order a cocktail of cereals and pick some to mix together. They do cereal toppers. You can get bubblegum flavoured milk, cinnamon flavoured milk, vanilla flavoured milk. There's all this stuff. You can buy um, a flat white where the milk has been infused with Fruit Loops. Or um, a latte where the milk has been... Um, a latte where the milk has been infused with Cocoa Pops. Just stuff like that it's so cool i love the place so so much um and yeah i just i'm in awe of it really and i must have told my brother about how much i love them and then i saw they were doing a subscription box and i told my brother have you decided what you're gonna get me for christmas yet because this looks really really cool um so he's paid for me to receive one box and then obviously he's cancelling it because he's not gonna pay for me to have it every single month um i just wanted to read to you before i open it what they say on their website so you get in every single box you get um a box of exciting cereal whatever that is uh two bags of cereal toppers a bottle of milk flavoring so it's not actual milk it's just like i guess like a syrup that you mix in with your own milk two pop tarts and a free gift the free gift i've seen before in another month was like a sticker so i'm not expecting the free gift to be much at all um and at the moment if you wanted to get this box if you pay every month, like month to month, it's £19 a month. Then they do like a three month contract is £17 a month, six month contract, £16 a month, and a 12 month contract is £15 a month. Um, and yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So um, it tells you as well, like if you subscribe right now, then you'll get your January box right away. You get debited on the first of each month for your new box, and it gets sent out on the fifth of each month. Um, I don't know when this arrived, I don't know whether it arrived today, yesterday, I don't know. I'm filming this on Thursday the 9th of January. I'm just very excited, oh my goodness. So, here it is. Oh my goodness. I'm really, really excited to open it. Okay, right. I've seen in the last couple of months, so one of them was like um, Captain Crunch candy floss flavour or something like that um and and December's box was Oreo O's um oh okay so this is what I can see right now so this says I like big bowls and I cannot lie um oh gosh I'm so excited okay let's just look at the cereal like straight oh there's this little card serving suggestion okay interesting what is it 
oh my gosh it's like a completely different language oh my gosh look oh, where is that from there's a bit in english here it says cookies flavored carrot cookies flavored cream filled cereals no food colors no preservatives added great for snacking oh my goodness where is this from this looks so cool oh my goodness and then there's like pictures of them so they're reminding me of like crave but cookie flavored cream filled cereals oh they sound very nice lovely and then there is, there's this little card here that says pour yourself a bowl of carrot add four okay these are going to be the toppings add four cookie dough bites and two tablespoons of freeze dried marshmallows add two teaspoons of milk flavor to 150 ml of milk give it a stir toast or freeze your pop tart and enjoy oh my god I'm so excited um this month's box comes all the way from israel carrot has been an israeli staple since 1994 and in 2019 they released this limited edition cookie flavor uh, the box is a little deceiving as it looks nothing like a cookie, more like raw dough flavour, but these pillows are stuffed with pure cookie dreams. We wanted to add some nice textures to complement the cookie pillows, so say hello to some freeze dried marshmallows and fudge brownie cookie dough bites. You'd think the cookie monster came up with this combo himself. Your free gift this month is a chocolatey chocopotamus lip balm because January can be a nightmare for chapped lips, so keep those lips supple and chocolatey. Oh my goodness, okay, so very cool. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try that. Oh my gosh, okay. So as we have just read, um, I have got a pack here of double chocolate fudge brownie cookie dough bites, an egg free recipe. Oh, lovely. That's what they look like. Well, that's not what they look like because that's a brownie, but the circles are, I guess what they look like. And then we've got, these are from Serial Killer Cafe some crunchy marshmallows. They are really, really tiny. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, we've got some milk flavoring here. This is fudge flavored syrup with sugar and sweetener. So fudge flavored milk. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing altogether. Lovely, oh my gosh. And do you know what? I feel like that's quite, that's quite a lot in there. That's gonna do you loads of bowls, to be honest um pop tarts am i going to be able to tell what flavor it is does anyone buy pop tarts no i don't know what flavor pop tarts i've got i might just i'm gonna open them now and i know that's silly but i'll just wrap them back up Oh sugar, the corner just fell off one. <laughs> I've got no idea. Let's break it in half. Looks like it's like a cookie dough or like a caramel one. Interesting, okay. <laughs> and then there's also this little lip balm, the chocolate flavoured Chocopotamus lip balm. That's cool. Let's whack it out. Oh, I should have taken a photo of it beforehand, shouldn't I, really? But oh well. Oh, it's clear. I was expecting it to be brown. Smells like chocolate. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. This is just, I feel like this is quite sad and like niche, but I'm really happy. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to really film and show you um, what I got. What I think I might do is, I won't have any time tomorrow morning, but um, the next bit you'll see in this video will be me um, trying everything. 
um and yeah i think that would be good as well to kind of let you know what i think of it so that's everything i got in my little subscription box i think it's very very cool um i would love to continue doing this however one do i really want to be buying like a big box of like sugary cereal every month two i doubt any of it's necessarily like vegan <laughs> um and three money so yeah um but i'm really excited to try these and i just wanted to show you what i got inside so yeah i will see you in literally just a second for you guys when i am tasting everything which i'm very excited for <laughs> good morning everybody it's a few days later now and i've really been resisting this look it's not even opened um yesterday morning i really wanted to try it um but i ended up rushing didn't have time to make myself breakfast as well as film it um and so yeah and then last night when I got in I was like oh, I could just help myself to a cheeky evening bowl of cereal um I'd never have cereal I normally have porridge um but still like I'm especially now it's been the Christmas holidays I'm trying to get back into the routine of eating breakfast um and yeah cereal is like a treat um and i resisted last night and i'm very excited to try it all and i haven't even opened these either and then i'm also going to warm up one of the pop tarts just to give it a taste um pop tarts hmm i think pop tarts are okay but i feel like they're a bit overrated to be honest but yeah i'm gonna try all this and so let me get my oat milk out Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Pull to open like this. This is cool. Oh, that didn't work very well. Gosh. There we go. And inside, it's like this. It's like a shiny foil bag. That's quite like cool. They smell amazing. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, the taste of raisin too. Okay. Then, I know I should probably mix the fudge flavouring with the milk previously, but I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to be very keen on this, but I'm still going to try it all together like they say, and I'm probably going to put less of that in there compared to how a normal person would. I don't know. We'll see. It might accidentally... Okay, so there's my milk. And this fudge flavouring. Smells nice. Okay, okay, so it's giving the milk, maybe if I put a little bit more in, so it's giving the milk like a darker yellowy colour to it. And then it said on the recommendations, I think four of these. Oh, that's small. I'm gonna put more than four on. This is gonna be like the most bad for you breakfast ever. Mmm, they taste nice. And I think it's a two teaspoons of this. I've never had freeze dried marshmallows before. So this is what the bowl looks like. I'm gonna get myself a good spoonful with like everything in and just see what it's like. I feel like this is really weird, me just eating a cereal on camera.
that's delicious um it's probably a bit too chocolatey or fudgy for me so i think the syrup is making it a bit too much for me however having the freeze dried marshmallows is really good because they're like just a sweet they're sweet and they're not chocolate flavored and then the cereal isn't chocolate flavored either i could easily just eat a bowl of the cereal with just like normal oat milk mmm 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 it's delicious mmm I'm loving having freeze dried marshmallows I've just realised as well they're like um, Lucky Charms aren't they Lucky Charm marshmallows are freeze dried marshmallows and they've just got this lovely crunch and they're just sweet and delicious oh amazing so I'm going to enjoy this um, bowl of cereal in peace now um, and not film and just eat it but um, a really good uh, they really thought didn't they about the things that would actually go together and i'm really impressed with that um but yeah that was me unbox oh <laughs> i need to do the pop tart <laughs> silly me there are, okay bear with me two seconds and we'll do the pop tart <laughs> Okay, so just to confuse you, you're now on the other side of my kitchen. Um, this is the pop tart that I've put in. I wonder if you're big on pop tarts, if you can tell from the pattern on here what it is. It's very warm. It smells lovely. And yeah, this is what the inside looks like. So I feel like it's just going to be like cookie dough or something. <clears throat> It's probably going to be too hot and I'm going to burn my mouth. Hmm. I can't tell, but it tastes delicious. <laughs> what I might do is try and just get some of the inside. Oh, it looks like it's got chocolate chips on the inside. So maybe it's like chocolate chip cookie. I think that's what it is delicious mm, mm, mm. lovely so i've got half a bowl of cereal to oh what's that someone's going past with a christmas tree there's a local christmas tree pickup point by my flat so um i've now got half a bowl of cereal to eat i tasted all the different bits of the cereal separately and yes the fudge syrup is the bit that's like too much for me if i try the milk by itself with the fudge syrup um Oh uh, yeah, even by itself I'm not that I'm not that keen on it. I find the fudge really overpowering. So um I think I would probably have like the same bowl again, but without the fudge syrup. But um as I like said earlier, I really like how they've thought about um everything and I do think they've thought not to try and overpower you. So like you've got the cookie flavoured cereal, then you've got something chocolatey, which is like the brownie bites. Then you've got something fudgy, which is the sauce, and then you've got freeze dried marshmallows to like sweeten it up again and like not be too chocolatey. And then you've also got the pop tart, which I think is like chocolate chip cookie dough or something like that, um, to kind of go with the theme because the cereal is cookie flavored. Um, but I like that the cereal's not like chocolatey, like crave, because that would just be like way too much. Um, but yeah, I think they've really thought about it, which is good. I didn't realize we were going to get a cereal from like completely different countries I thought it might be just cereals like that were popular in the 90s or like American cereals and I think that's really cool like having cereals from like completely different countries I'm not sure if I could handle having sugary cereals though like every single month <laughs> um but really cool I think and just like just amazing I, I love everything about like things that are throwbacks of the 90s I just love it I love feeling like a kid again or feeling like I'm in the 90s again and cereal like that like is really cool um they also sell on their website certain cereals I think some of them are like six pound a box but some of them are like you know 9.95 or something so um quite expensive but they do have some really cool options on there so I think if you knew someone who remembers a specific cereal or wants a specific cereal from america it'd be a great birthday present um i'm definitely i think that would be a really cool birthday present for someone um but yeah that was what was in my box for 19 pounds a big box of cereal from israel 
cookie dough, brownie, brownie bites, freeze dried marshmallows, fudge syrup, two cookie dough pop tarts and a chocolate lip balm and I actually think that's really good considering they sell the cereals for like let's say they're like eight nine pounds on average so I think that's really good um and just really fun you're, you're buying it for the funness and the the interestingness aren't you and it's very niche but very cool um so yeah that is me that is this video something a bit different um, from what I normally do but again it's something that I'm really interested in I love visiting the Serial Killer Cafe so much I post about it every time I go I just love it so much and yeah so that's my video for today I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and I'll see you in a few days in my next video bye